Same stuff we did that last assignment, just a little bit harder on some of them. So the multiplication properties are product of powers. Product means you multiply. As long as the base is the same, whether it's a letter or a number, all you got to do is add the tops. So that's a to the m plus n. So here they've got the base is both threes, so two plus seven is nine. Everyone remember that rule? Okay, mm -hmm. then power of a power is if you've got one thing raised to two powers, you multiply them, a to the mn. So here's the example, it's five squared raised to the fourth is five to the eighth. Then combining that power of a product is if you've got something in parentheses and they're multiplied, they gotta be hooked together. Um, you just do each one raised to that power. Because if there's nothing there, that means it's a one. So one times m is m, one times m is m. So it'd be a to the m, b to the m. So like here, it would be two to the sixth, three to the sixth. All right? So, just going through, these are like the ones we did before. Same base, so you add them, it'd be four to the eighth. Same base, but remember if there's nothing there, it's a one. So two plus one is three, six to the third. Um, that would be a one, so it'd be negative three to the eighth. Which technically, what would happen to the negative? It would be positive. If you raise a negative to a positive power, if you got an even amount, they cancel each other out. So you could write it like that. Here there's three of them, so you just add all three. That would be y to the 15th. Power of a power, you multiply, seven to the 15th, multiply, negative two to the 12th which would make it, since it's an even, you could write it two to the 12th. Um, this one now, you notice this is in parentheses, the B minus one. So you keep it in parentheses, and then you just multiply those two. So it's B minus one to the 24th. Now this is different. See, they're not multiplied together. B minus one to the 24th, some people might write it like that. You can't. If they're not multiplied together, b minus 1 to the 24th means you take b minus 1 times b minus 1 times b minus 1 24 times. And then we get into where, um, I don't remember, I don't think we got to this last year. When you take a quantity times a quantity, let me use a little easier example. Say we got x plus 2 times x plus 2. You got to take the x times both of these, that would be x squared, and x times 2 is 2x. So that takes care of that one. Then you got to distribute that one through. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 is 4. That's called foiling, which we will get to, uh, I think it's next chapter, chapter 9. Okay, so. You only do it if they're multiplied together. If everything's together, then you do it to each one. This would be two cubed, three cubed. You just do it to each one. So here it would be nine squared, x squared, y squared. Here, if you take the negative and raise it to the fourth, what's gonna, what's gonna happen to the negative? Positive, yeah. So that'll just disappear. And then you do the three. So it'd be three to the fourth, z to the fourth. This one, the negative is out front. So it'd be negative four cubed, w cubed. Because th it's not being included there. So here's the little bit longer ones that we didn't do on the last assignment. And it's the same rule. 
this whole parenthesis is being raised to the second, so you got to do all of these to the second. So it'd be 7 squared, w squared <coughs> squared is w to the fourth, z cubed squared is z to the sixth, because remember you multiply it. And then there's another z to the fourth, which these two have the same letter. So z to the sixth and z to the fourth makes z to the tenth. So it's really the same stuff we did, except with some of these longer ones in there today, though. Like this one. You got to take this and do everything to the fifth. So it'd be 2 to the fifth, W to the fifth, Z to the tenth. Because you multiply when it's a power to a power. And then here we got a W squared and a Z squared. So we can combine, kind of, I wrote that kind of bad, but that, these are Z's. And you can combine the W's, so it'd be 2 to the 5th, W to the 5th, W squared is W to the 7th. And then the Z's, there's 10, and 2 makes 12. Alright? So it should be pretty quick again today.